Hey, welcome to Jack of All Trades. Another review brought to you by moi. Today we're going to be re reviewing the PetSafe Bar Control. Uh, recently, well actually quite, quite a bit, every time I let my dog out, he barks a storm up and everything that goes by, every car, every neighbor, it's driving me nuts. So I went and bought this product. It's by PetSafe. So we will uh, show you an unboxing, even though I've already unboxed it, and we will show you how it operates and what it's supposed to do. So according to the claims of the company, it's supposed to stop dogs from barking. It sends out a audible, uh, non-audible uh, tone that the dogs can hear, but you can't hear. So every time the dog barks, it'll trigger the tone and the dog will remain silent. So. I can say on uh, behalf of using this product for a day so far, I let the dog out this morning and uh, he first thing he did was start to bark and as soon as he heard that thing, it was like it, like he hit a brick wall. He just stopped barking. It was amazing. So uh, we'll go into more details of what this thing can do uh, through this review. So stay tuned. Okay, so yeah, we have a close up of the product in the box as you see here. This is what it'll look like when you purchase it. It's got like a little uh, face there. Looks like it's got an input microphone and a speaker at the bottom. What I paid for this was I got it on sale for $64.97 at the Home Hardware up in Canada. I believe this is like $89 um, at regular price. So I was kind of skeptical when I bought it. I asked the guy if I could get my money back if it didn't work. It's, you know, it seemed kind of ridiculous, you know. But it actually works, so that I'd show you. So let's uh, let's do an unboxing here. You just see, let's check out this little piece here, and on the side. Let's just get the camera over here. You have uh, an owner's manual it tells you how to use it. Now this thing has two timers built in, so you can set the time clock on the uh, unit and it'll turn on at a specific time of the day and turn off. So this is good for at night. So say you're sleeping. You can disable the device so it doesn't trigger when other dogs bark and uh, it doesn't waste the battery so you can have it on just during the day or you can actually manually turn it on as you let your dog out into the yard and then turn it off. So this works indoors and outdoors. It covers uh, 50 feet so your dog can be up to 50 feet away from the device and it will work. Let's see what else you get in the box. Looks like you get some uh, couple 1-800 numbers. I guess to help you out. Customer care card. Let's pull the unit up and you get the unit. It looks like this. And there's the box, just like that. So let's put stuff back in the box here. So this is what the unit looks like. Uh, bar control. It's waterproof too, that's what they say. It's all plastic and the screws holding in the roof on the top there and the battery goes in the bottom just like so and then on the front there's electronics buttons to set the time and the timers for there's two timers on this so and I believe this is just your uh, light sensor light to show you that it's working so let's get a zoom in close up and we'll show you uh, the battery compartment as you see here is a close up of the battery compartment it's got your model number at the top at the uh, so see operating guide for important safety and use information. So we'll refer to the guide in a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually take the, the unit out. And you just, all it is is just a click and pull like that. It comes out like that. And then you got your little wire in here. Now it does not come with a 12 volt battery. So I just purchased a battery right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to install it. Pretty basic to install. like that. You'll notice that the LED light will come on. See how it's flashing? Be flashing green. Now it's red. Flashing red. It shows you the battery's full. It has a battery indicator on the display. So let's uh, put the battery in here. Just like that. And then you're going to take your cover, put it back on. When you put the cover back on, just make sure the tang this tang part's facing that way. Just like that. 
that's how you put the battery in so that's how it works and there you go you leave it on and you'll see this flicker here you'll see the battery level there and all you gotta do is just press this button here the gray button hold it it'll shut the unit off so you can have the unit off or on at any time and like I said there's some more information about setting the timers in here there's two separate timers you can set um, I'm not going to get into that but according to this it says uh, 50 feet is the distance that it will cover so and it's supposed to work for large or small dogs so it says the unit shouldn't be placed uh, at a height any more than 1.5 meters high it can be placed in a tree hanging from a pole fence for best results the area between the deluxe outdoor bar control and the dog should be free of any obstacles so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to uh, let's reverse this here I don't know if you can see the sensor in the yes you can okay you're going to make sure that the sensor is facing the direction of the where the dog is say so it's in the yard so that way it picks it up it works the best so anyway guys thank you for watching jack of all trades uh, actually before we uh, finish up this video this has a three year warranty out of the box so I don't know I just bought this unit last week seems to work great if you have problems with barking dogs even your neighbors dogs you can put this in your yard point it to your neighbors house and not even tell them and it'll shut the dogs up so it's just a little trick to, to have some sanity with uh, dogs around especially your neighbors dogs if they're driving you nuts and you don't own a dog get this turn it on don't tell your neighbor and all of a sudden their dogs will shut up so